Hey YouTube, I'm back and in this video um, I'm going to show you how I shape my acrylic brushes. What you will need is a bar of soap, used or new, it's up to you. It's up to you. Um, water, which I'm only using a cap full because you're just going to dip your brush in it really. Full of water, right? And your brushes. This is my number 12 brush. This is what it looks like before I shape it. It's round. If you can use it round, you like it round, then go for it. But what I'm going to do is dip it in my water, let it soak up the water. Take off the excess water. Take the soap on the rounded side. See how it's rounded? And I'm doing it back and forth. Pull this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Back and forth. Back and forth. And if you get a lot of sudsy, if you get any suds, that means you have too much water on your brush. Or if it's too dry, just dip it in the water a little bit more. And you come back right back in and just start to go back and forth. And you'll see it's starting to flatten out on its own, right? Once you see that, let me hold it this way. Maybe you guys can see me holding it this way. And that's it, right? See how flattened it is? It's not round anymore. See that? And I just flatten it with my fingers a little bit, not squeezing it. I don't squeeze it. So don't squeeze it. And then I come in and just go up the side a little bit. I mean, the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Okay. And that's what the number 12 looks like. Flattened. Okay. Um, most people lay it down to let it dry. Um, I stand them up. It's up to you. Whichever way you want to do it. So we'll move on to my number 10, which is what it looks like before I flatten it, right? Dip it in my water, get it saturated in my water. Wipe off the excess. And I start with my soap again. Doesn't matter what soap, any soap will do. Black soap, white soap, red soap, green soap, fruity soap, doesn't matter. Because you're going to wash them after this anyway, once they dry. Um, it all depends on your brush. It all depends on how cold or hot your house is but you know just leave them and let them dry for a couple of hours or overnight doesn't matter um low cornell or cornell oh i can't think of his name but anyway if i find it i'll put the information in the info box he has a video on this as well but his is mostly for um um makeup brushes not necessarily acrylic brushes okay so that's my number 10 flattened as you can see and I'll come along and shape the sides and that's that that's what it looks like flattened okay and we'll move on to my number 8 this is what it looks like before. Rounded, saturated in my water. Take it out, pour off the excess, and go for my soap again. I use the rounded side, but I mean, of course, you could use either side. But I prefer the rounded side because it helps with the shaping of the brush, believe it or not.
and if it's real watery and you just can't get it to, to thicken up just blow it a little bit as you're doing it and the soap will begin to dry what it means is you have too much water in your brush but if you keep doing it just keep going and keep going it'll eventually get thicker you know as you go back and forth so that's my number eight flattened okay that's what it looks like flattened and I just shape it a little bit you can make it as wide as you want if you want it really really wide you just keep flattening it see that's too wide for me that's just way too wide for me so I'll come back in and pull it up around the edges a little bit and all I did was go up on the edges very lightly to get the shape that I want and that's the shape that I want so there you have it there's my eight my ten and my twelve and that's what they look like and again these are my brushes from Michaels that were $2.99 alright and then I'm gonna do my um, my royal brush which is a number eight as well which was $2.99 at Wal oh, Michaels sorry at Michaels as well and I'm gonna do this one as well with the and I've got too much so I'll just excess take some of the water off and I'm doing the same thing back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth until the soap gets thick and it gets a little stiffer when you go back and forth with your brush that's when you know you're done okay. and that's what that one looks like flat okay And then come along the side. And that's how you do that. So that's how I flatten my brushes when I get new acrylic brushes. Um, I did the same thing with my um, Kalinsky brush. Um, I did the same thing with my brush I got from Sally's right here. Did the same thing with this one. You know, it's just pure water, and you go back and forth, and you just shape it. And that's it. That's all to that. Um, you can flatten them, like I said, you can make them as flat as you want, or as wide as you want. And as it dries, you're going to see it separate a little bit. Like this one is beginning to dry. You can see how it's starting to separate a little bit. And you just come in and you squeeze a little bit. You may have to wet it a little bit and go back in and do it again. But eventually it will train and it will shape the way you want it to shape. So that's how I do that. Any questions, any comments, any better techniques, anything you know that I don't know, please share it in my comments. Um, I will respond. I will read. Any information that you have that I don't have, let me know, ladies. But that's just a little technique that I learned from YouTube. Um, like I said, when I go back and find his name, I'm going to put it... Um, in the info box to this video so love you guys and i'll be seeing you in the next video bye